what up it's rj i'm back here with another video i got this 2012 chevy malibu got 138,000 miles i got it from this dealership it was a new car trade and my partner let me do a review on it so if you're just interested it is for sale now the color on it is silver it get up 22 to 33 miles per gallon 22 on the city 33 on the highway and i had it for a week now so i can vouch and say you know that that is the most it got 169 to 252 horsepower now if you do some work to it you put some mods on it it's going to be nice but it is a nice practical car that you can get around and move and move and do what you got to do it's practical i had it for a week and i put 20 dollars in it and it had about well, I still got a tank of gas. I had a full tank. I'm on a little bit on the low side now because I've been driving it around. He said, you know, get the feel of it. You know, show what it got. But for the Chevy Malibu, which I was not a fan of, I actually like it. It got the chrome rims, which every option don't come with that. Oh, and it's also a Malibu LT. And I, and I really do like the car. Now I'm gonna go pop the hood and we're gonna talk about what's under the hood. All right, y'all, so we got an Ecotec 2.4 liter engine. The engine block is all cast aluminum alongside with the cylinder head. The valve lifters are hydraulic and the ignition system is coil on spark plugs. Giving the fuel delivery a high pressure direct injection with electronic, excuse me, electronic throttle control. Now it's pushing about 172 to 233 torque, and it has about a roughly 182 horsepower. Last but not least, you got a six speed auto hydromatic transmission. Yeah, and that about covers everything in the engine bay with the silver trim chrome door handle you know you got the lock button and everything over there now we come inside you get in here that's that's also a feature i like about it i mean on a norm, a normal older car you can't really you can see like the dash but just coming up on it you wouldn't be able to see the dash without actually paying attention now when I mean, on the camera you can see that it got 140 you know on the speedometer and, and you can see i you can see her kind of red red lines at seven but that's it um coming into it you do got a sunroof up here you got um a little normal cubby space paperwork in there got a little cubby up here for whatever you want to um store come down there that's the gear shifter another little cubby space for whatever got the cigarette lighter right here that has it traction um got this right here it'd be a cup holders you got two cup holders another little space where you can put your change or whatever and you bounce back here and there's just your compartment space you know and they actually got two got two compartments that's a, a feature i actually like because i put my phone up in there and then let's go around here to the back there's the back it's actually big you know in the back that's something i like come around you got another cup holder right there got a cigarette lighter and this is another feature i like right here like it got the um actually port where you can plug things up i like this feature a lot because i could just plug my laptop in go on the go and don't have to really worry about nothing i could just plug it up like that that is a cool feature to me and then here's the back right here everything you can fit like three people back here there's another thing i like Ooh, you know well that's with a normal car you can fit about the average of three people so yeah, that's it about the outside. I'm gonna go ahead and take you on a drive. Me and my brother gonna go drive this thing. I'll let y'all see how it run. All right, catch you when we on the drive. Start it up. First start of the afternoon. As 
as you can see, got 138,000 miles and 31. I just put that on there today. And it is 50 degrees outside. All right, but I'm finna go give y'all this point of view. All right, y'all, we back. This is my brother, STL Grind. STL Grind. Tell me what's social media, brother. It is. STL Grind is my YouTube. TTG for Life is my Snapchat. And Young King Gant, Y-U-N-G, is my IG. All right, y'all yeah. heard him. Go ahead and follow him. Yes, sir. Let's get to it. Now, we're going to go ahead and drive. We'll show y'all our point of view, what we like about it. But stay tuned. First off, when you hit the gas, it do got some go. That's one thing I do like about it. Like, when you hit it, it got some go to it. For it to be a little V6, I ain't think it would have, you know, like the little get up and go it got, but it do. What you think, bro? Man, it, it's beautiful, bro. I love it. And right now, we going over some streets with some bumps and potholes. And you don't even, like, feel like you're going over it for real. It's not phased. And that's one thing I like about it. And this man out here doing some push-ups on the wall. <laughs> but we ain't we ain't gonna talk about that right now. Nope. Not today. So we're getting in the draw and actually driving smooth. So overall, we had this for a week. What you think about it, brother? Man, it's nice and refined. I love the suspension, the power, the everything is just, it's nice and refined. And to think about it, you only got like 162 horsepower to 252. But it got that get up and go though, all right. day long. And you don't, when you drive it, you don't really think it got that much horsepower because it's pushing out, you know, everything it got right at the jump. And it's, and it's pretty light, too, at that. So, yeah, you know, you know. Yeah, that's one thing I appreciate it and I like about this car. It's a reasonable car. You can get down and go like you need to. And, yeah, it got the little power. For it to be like a little V6, as I keep telling my brother, it got some get up to it. And that's what I like because it got some get up. And with that being said, it got excellent gas mileage to get. 32 in the city, and I believe 22 in the highway. Combined, I believe it's like 18. That's it's good gas mileage. See, I heard it from somebody else other than me. I ain't lying about that. This man got a Cadillac over here, so he know all about pitiful gas mileage. Like, he know all, the all about it. So we finna um, cut it off and give y'all another front POV. Yep, it's a front view of, you know, the drive. So you like to see what you're talking about yourself. It's a smooth car, you know. Nonetheless, you know, what you're normally expect out of a regular car. And as having it for a week, I, mean, I told y'all, that's where the gas is right now. So I've been saving gas with this car. And if anybody interested in buying it, I think it would be a good choice for you. The gas on this car is amazing. Five minutes later. Okay. <laughs> no, Why he was in the truck? Hey, I'm gonna see your girl. God damn it. Fuck y'all. Fuck everybody. You better like, comment, subscribe. Follow some ass. My name ain't three of them. <laughs> <laughs>